Hey guys, welcome back to Mondays on Fashionably Late. This week's theme is story times, and I really couldn't think of like a story to tell you guys. I do have like a couple good stories. I can't really like remember like how they happen, like play by play, step by step, how they happen and how it played out. Because, like, people on YouTube, like, tell stories that happened to them, like, five years ago, and they remember precisely every single detail, and I just can't do that. Like, I don't know, I guess I don't have a good memory. I was trying to think of, like, an embarrassing moment, like, a little embarrassing moment story that I could tell you guys. I thought of one. I'm pretty sure you guys will like this. So, I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, but I just know that it's a very embarrassing thing that happened to me when I was in about first or second grade and yes i do remember it because it was so embarrassing that i did not forget it yeah let's get in to the story so i was in my younger years in elementary so i'm just saying i was in second grade and the bathrooms at my school were haunted I made up a rumor that um the girls bathroom and the gym was haunted but this is not about the gym bathroom this is about the bathroom by the lunchroom. There is a lunchroom, obviously, and you go to the bathroom and you step out the doors and there's two doors, a boy's bathroom and a girl's bathroom. We all thought that the bathroom by the lunchroom was haunted. Remember this thing with Bloody Mary was going around that people have been doing like Bloody Mary in the bathroom and I really don't remember all the details. But I truly, deeply thought that Bloody Mary was haunting the lunchroom bathroom. So I was terrified, terrified to go to the bathroom during lunch. So one day, I was eating lunch, and I really, really had to pee. Like, I really had to pee. And I had to hold it because, <laughs> like, dude, I don't want to go in the haunted bathroom. Like, no thank you. I had to go, you know? When you gotta go, you gotta go. I told my friends, I remember, I don't remember the exact conversation, obviously, but I remember talking to them about, like, I really have to pee, but I don't want to go in there. And then they were all saying, just go in there, it's fine, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. So I raised my hand, and then, like, a lunch aide came and asked what I needed. I said I had to go to the bathroom. And then we had, like, these little, like, wooden passes, and one was red and one was blue. And it said, like, girl, boy on it. So I took the girls one. And this was, like, by the end of lunch. What we did, basically, was we ate lunch like you do. And then when your entire table is done with lunch, you're dismissed. And then you go into the gym, which is connected to the cafeteria. And you sit in a line with your classroom. And you just sit there in a line until everyone's done eating. I, it was near the end of lunch, like I said. And... I went to the bathroom because I was about to pee, pee myself. And I remember this part the most. Just listen. So I went to the bathroom that was across the hall from the cafeteria. And I went in. And I specifically remember, since I knew that Bloody Mary was like in the mirrors, I thought Bloody Mary was going to like pop out of the mirror. So I did not look at the mirror. And I ran straight past the mirror. I went pee so fast. Like, I forced the pee out of me. I don't even think I flushed. Like, I went so fast. I didn't wash my hands. I just zoomed out of there. I was gone. No ghost, nothing. Just a quick little pee. And then I was out. I ran back. All proud of myself because I got out of there alive. No Bloody Mary here because I didn't look in the mirror. So... I'm Gucci. Go back into the cafeteria. My table's gone, so I go ahead and take my tray up to, the, like, the tray return thingy. And I go into the gym. Basically, everyone's in the gym. Like, all the classes are there. There was rows of classes sit sitting in lines on the gym floor, which is my class, which is right next to the wall. So I get there, I sit down, but my friends are at the end of the line. And I sit at the end of the line with them. My legs are getting like really sticky. I don't know why. Um, but I sat at the end of the line. And they were like, 
how did it go? Like, did you run into Bloody Mary? Like, what happened? And I was like, it's good. I didn't do it. Like, nothing happened. Like, I didn't even look in the mirror. And then, I don't know how the conversation escalated. It was an elementary school kid conversation. So, <laughs> it sounds so stupid. Really stupid. I said nothing was in the bathroom. I didn't do anything. And they thought I was lying. They thought that I was a ghost. <laughs> they told me I was a ghost. They thought that I was, like, possessed or whatever. I don't know what they thought. But they thought I was a ghost. And I was getting pissed off. I was like, I'm not a ghost. I didn't even look in the mirror. I ran past the mirror. I went pee and I got out of there. They didn't believe me. So when Rebecca gets angry, Rebecca gets angry. So <laughs> this is really embarrassing, guys. I proved to them I wasn't a ghost. I went over to the wall because we were sitting right next to the wall. And I was just like, if I was a ghost, my hand would go through this wall. Say the wall's right here. I was like, my hand's not going through the wall. I'm not a ghost. I'm real. I'm real. And I just kept yelling at them. I'm like, I'm real. I'm not a ghost. My hand doesn't go through this wall. If I was a ghost, my hand would go through the wall. I'm not a ghost. And I was pissed. And I told them, I was like, I know it. I'm not a ghost. They know I'm not a ghost now because my hand didn't go through that wall. And I was feeling myself. Now, I realize the gym is silent. The gym is completely silent. Everyone has their hands up, because when you have to be quiet, you put your hand up. So everyone has their hands up, and all their heads are turned back to look at me. Everyone knows I'm not a ghost, at least. The aid person looks at me, and she's like, Rebecca, the bad kids, like if you do something bad, you go and you sit on the bleachers. She's like, Rebecca, go sit on the bleachers. And I was like, I was literally about to cry. Everyone was staring at me. You guys don't understand. Well, maybe if this happened to you, you do, you would understand. But like, everyone's eyes were on me. Everyone was looking at me. Everyone knew that I wasn't a ghost. So embarrassing. I up and it was the worst, longest walk in my life walking up all the rows of kids they were all staring at me it was so embarrassing so i just sat on the bleachers and i tried to act like i didn't care i was i remember like sitting on the bleachers like that's right i'm a bad kid so then we got dismissed and then we went back to class and then i probably cried on the inside the entire day i never forgot it guys that has stuck with me it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever witnessed, not witnessed, I've ever done. And um, make sure to stick around for everyone else's story times. I'm sure there'll be a lot more great, they'll be good. Yeah, so have a nice day. I guess a lesson here was don't prove to your friends that you are not a ghost because you don't have to prove anything to anyone.